Thank you very much, Bill, and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Duquesne is proud to welcome the Corporate Equity and Inclusion Roundtable back to the bluff for the fifth annual conference. Uh, my predecessor, President Charles Dougherty, was an early supporter of this effort, and I'm proud to continue this important tradition here on the bluff. Ma one of my major priorities in my new role as the 13th president of Duquesne University is to become even more connected to the region around us, to work closely like, with leaders like Bill Flanagan, County Executive Rich Fitzgerald, Mayor Bill Peduto, Tim Stevens, and all of you to make Pittsburgh uh, a greater place to work, to live. Uh, so it's exciting to see such a wonderful crowd this morning. And it's especially fitting that we gather this year as we remember the life and the legacy of one of Duquesne's greatest alumni, Ambassador Dan Rooney. Uh, Dan, as you may know, his father Art and his son Art II are all Duquesne graduates and they built and continue to maintain the Steelers as a model professional sports franchise and they're successful on the field and in the business world because their organizational culture is built on the values and ethics that Duquesne has always promoted, diversity and inclusion being at the top of the list. It was no surprise that Dan was the driving force behind the NFL rule that bears his name, the Rooney Rule. Uh, the, and this, of course, said that minority candidates should always be in the mix when making important hires for coaching, for executive positions, and it has been equally appropriate that so many companies and organizations around the country, really around the world, including Duquesne and CEIR, have embraced the Rooney Rule and adapted it for even greater impact. So we are going to miss uh, Dan Rooney's bigger than life presence. I'm actually going to be with his widow, Pat Rooney, uh, next week. Uh, but we're going to continue on our quest to achieve his vision in business and government and the community. It's not just the right thing to do, as you all know. It's also the smart, competitive thing to do for our region, for all our fellow citizens, in order to grow and prosper here in Allegheny County. As a former law professor and constitutional law professor, specifically and dean here at Duquesne University, I'm proud of the work of our faculty members uh, to promote equal opportunity for all citizens. And later this morning, you'll hear from one of them, our, uh, one of our clinical professors, Tracy McCants-Lewis, on her work on Ban the Box uh, to allow fair consideration of job applicants with criminal records. We're very proud of Tracy's work on the cutting edge of issues of very significant importance to this community. So all of us at Duquesne share our spirit and founders commitment to the pursuit of social justice, which is why all of you are here today. Today's program is just one of many ways that we put that into action. Uh, I know that you have a busy, fast-paced agenda. I hope that every person in this room will be inspired and energized to do any more, even more. Uh, so thank you again for joining us this morning and my best wishes for a wonderful conference. Thank you. Stay right here for a second, Ken. I think we have a little presentation here for you, Doris. And Tim. We have been blessed for five years. I'm going to ask uh, Doris if you would read this. Duquesne University and staff applaud and thank Ken Gorley for hosting the Corporate Equity and Inclusion Roundtable Conference for the, each of all the five years of the CEIR conferences beginning in 2013, presented Monday. June 19, 2017, to Ken Gormley, President at Duquesne University Power Center Ballroom, by Tim Stevens, the Black Political Empowerment Project Chairman and CEIR Working Group Facilitator. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Tim and Doris, very much. This is this is right up there with the Stanley Cup, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. 